Yes. Can I help you, sir? Yes, you are in rock bottom. My condolences. All buses leaving rock bottom have been canceled due to inclement weather. We appreciate your patience. It doesn't look like it. I'd be happy to tell you about all the little things our burg has to offer, if you would be so kind as to get me a snack. One kelp bar, please. And don't let it get mushy. Who are you talking to, weirdo? All the better to roll at you, pipsqueak. A kelp bar. They're in the candy machine just outside. I get it myself, but the rain would ruin my mascara. I can hardly wait. You can check out any time you'd like, but you can never leave. Oh, the excitement. Mmm, kelp. Thank you. All right, so what do you want to know? Not much. There's our weather station, WSEA. My sister works there. They have daily tours. You might want to take one. It's just down the street. Knock yourself out. I will buzz you in when we are done. Congrats, you are the first in line. Um, actually, you seem to be the only one in line. Well, step forward and we can process your application. Yes, you should have a properly completed application and release form. Oh, for crying out loud. Will you just come over here already? Okay, even though you don't have your application, I'll make an exception just this once. Yeah, well, whatever you say. Right this way, mister. That has got to be the worst stage name I have ever heard. Okay, Mr. Squarepants. The producer, Gil Hammerstein, will be waiting for you past the door. I'm buzzing you in right now. You shouldn't keep Mr. Hammerstein waiting. He's right beyond the door and I've buzzed you in already. Buzzing is the most important responsibility a receptionist has. So please, move along. You can't go back there without an appointment. You do not. You can only get an appointment through me. Hi, can I help you? That's nice. Do you have an appointment? Hmm, well, he's a pretty busy guy. Let me see what I can do. What's your name? No, seriously. Do your parents not like you? Just curious. Anyway, what species are you? A sponge, huh? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Squarepants, but Dr. Louie is a chiropractor. Well, a chiropractor deals with bones, the backbone or spine. Well, how can I put this? You are an invertebrate, so you have no spine, no bones. How can you be treated by a back doctor if you have no back? No, I'm sorry. Unless you have a spine, you cannot see Dr. Louie. I guess if you can call two people a protest. It's not that he won't treat them. It's that he can't treat them. Are you even listening to me at all? They have no bones. It's a tough world, little guy. Yeah, there is a way. Get a spine. Then I'll pencil you in. Bye. I could tell because my heart went all a flutter. Not you. You're a sponge. Uh, it's a sea urchin spine. You have missed the point entirely. Ugh, I don't get paid enough for this. Fine, give me a moment. Okay, you can see Dr. Louie now. You got your way. He still won't be able to help you, though. Welcome to WSCA. Unfortunately, we are preparing for a gala event. Everything is going wrong, and you are quite obviously not a repairman. So please come back tomorrow for a tour. Thank you. Well, what are you here for, then? I'm very busy. Sorry, you're not allowed. Nobody gets past me without station business. And as I don't see you carrying any tools, you clearly don't mean business. Have a nice day. Yeah, great line, Romeo. You sure know how to woo a girl. I'll try not to get my hopes up. Hey, you can't go back there. You don't work here and you aren't carrying any tools, so you aren't a repairman. Anyone with one eye can see that. Great, it's about time. Go settle up with Gary. He's upstairs in the newsroom. Good luck getting in there. Some freaky wizard named Marlin came in here one day and cast a spell on it. 
No one can open it now. 